Yeah, my name is Steve Toombs, I'm Professor of Criminology, so I've, I've worked in, in and around criminology for about 30 years now, uh, concerned with corporate crime, crimes by companies, increasingly crimes by the state and the ways in which those crimes are, are or are not regulated, um, and I work for the Open University. Uh, well, a whole series of reasons. Uh, one is one of the, my, my kind of interests, uh, specific interests for a while, both as a, an academic and as a campaigner. I was chair of a charity for a long time, which campaigned around a new law on corporate manslaughter. Uh, so I've just been doing some work on that. The law's been in force for nine years, looking at what's happened with the law, where it's been enforced, how it hasn't been enforced. It hasn't yet been used against a, a relatively large organisation like a local authority. Um, and it seems to me that Grenfell has all the ingredients for a prima facie case of corporate manslaughter. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason is, look, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm interested in health and safety, worker health and safety, public health and safety. Um, I'm interested in political economy. I'm interested in austerity. And all of those things come together pretty gruesomely in, uh, in what happened at Grenfell and indeed what's still happening to the, to the, to the victims and their families. Well, it's less for victims and families in the sense that I think that, that this case is the test of the new corporate manslaughter law. It's many other things, right? But it's the test of whether that law is fit for purpose in terms of holding relatively large organisations like a local authority to account. Now, that's not the end of the story for the victims, and it may not be something that some of them are interested in, but I think that it, it, if there is a case of manslaughter against the local authority, and, and indeed other organisations associated with what happened there, um, and it's successful, I think that sends an important symbolic message to employers and to organisations that they, they, they can't be cavalier about the health and safety of workers, residents, local communities and so on.